Now after that C D, then A D. So what to be C yes. formula one so is in a two minus minus five, two plus five all square plus minus three plus five all square. Same thing it is coming seven square plus two square. Root fifty three. Then for C D, X one Y one is C. C is what two comma minus three. And X two Y two is D. D D D D D. Four comma four 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 comma four. Is the find out C D. Once you find C D, then A D.
फोर माइनस टू प्लस फोर माइनस माइनस थ्री मीन फोर प्लस थ्री और स्क्वायर टू स्क्वायर प्लस सेवन स्क्वायर सेम रूट फिफ्टी थ्री ना देन एडी आल्सो सेम वे फाइंड आउट रूट ऑफ फोर माइनस थ्री फोर माइनस माइनस थ्री फोर प्लस थ्री और स्क्वायर प्लस फोर माइनस टू All sides equal. A B is equal to B C is equal to C D is equal to A D. Therefore, it is a non-bus. कंप्लीटर अचित नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन By the way, what do you mean by circumcent of the triangle? <laughs> hmm. What is circumcent of the triangle? Any of them has idea? Last class I asked you people to everyone stop two three were writing I will try here learn did you learn did you in front of me altitude you know yes yes what is altitude height height median you know yes what is it from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side angle by the trigonal you know by six yeah. Perpendicular bisector of you know, perpendicular to a side and bisects the side. Okay, all the three altitude meeting point. Do you know what is it? Ortho center. In triangle we are done. All the three altitude meeting point is called the ortho center. Median meeting point. Do you know? Centroid. Where medians all the three medians are meeting is called centroid. Angle bisector meeting is called in center. Perpendicular bisector meeting point is called circum center. So what is circum center? Point of intersection of all the perpendicular bisectors. That circum center is equidistant from all the three vertices. What is the property of the circum center? It is equidistant from all the three vertices. Are we clear? Oh. Okay, that is the condition. And do you know what I mean by circum radius? Circum radius means distance from the circum center to any vertex. Okay, suppose if I draw this for a triangle over here. A B C. If B is the circum center, means what length will be equal? If B is circum center, what length will be equal? A P will be equal to B P will be equal to C P. That is the condition, and that length is called the circum center, circum radius. So write what is circum center of the triangle. Circum center is the circum center is the point of intersection of All the perpendicular bisectors. 
circumcenter is the point of intersection of all the perpendicular bisectors. Return point of intersection of all the perpendicular bisectors. Okay. <coughs> Next line you can write circumcenter is that's the main property. Circumcenter is equally stand from all the vertices. Circumcenter is equally stand from all the vertices. All the vertices. Circumcenter. C A R C U M C A T R E. Now, write what do you mean by circum radius? Circum radius. Is the distance between circumcenter and any vertex? Distance between circumcenter and any vertex. <coughs> you know what is circum radius over here? <laughs> AP or BP or CP or okay, any one. Now, here, if B is the circumcenter, what are the equal conditions? A, B will be equal to, B, B will be equal to C, B. Are you following? Now, that means how many conditions you get over here? Which are three conditions? Who's the three? You, you. Ah, tell which are three conditions? One. Loudly. One Let her tell now. Ah, one condition. Just a second. You said three conditions, huh? Huh? Yes. Now you tell me how many conditions? One. <laughs> there are three conditions here. I think which are three conditions? Do you know? AP is equal to BP. One condition. Oh. Second condition. AP is equal to CP. Third condition. BP is equal to CP. So how many conditions? You got three conditions. Now here. The vertices, listen carefully. What are the vertices of the triangle is given? 5, 1. 11, 1. 11, 1. 11, 9. 11, 9. 9. Okay. I can take uh, this as coordinate as x, comma, y. Now, look here carefully. What we need to find out? What we need? Means what you have to find out in this figure? AP. AP. AP, yes, my daughter. Real and final from the huh? what is the final coordinate of the circle means what is the find out from here? X huh? and y. P value of x and y. Oh. <laughs> so what do you find out? Value of x and y. For getting value of x and y, we have AP and BP are equal. A, P and C, P are equal, B, P and C, P are equal. Listen carefully. We have three conditions. We don't need three conditions. Two. How many unknown things are there? How many unknown things are there? Two. Two. Which are, which are the two unknown things? X and Y. Two unknown things means two equations is enough to solve it. Okay. So, what do you do means? So, I can take it to A, P and B, P equal and A, P and C, P equal. That's enough. Okay. Or another one is telling A, P and BP and BP and C. Anyway, three conditions. Always final answer will remain same. Now, which to be taken equal? Listen carefully. Again, sometimes you can do in the shortcut way. Check all the x coordinates. Anything? Any x coordinates are is, is equals or same? Yes. What is equal? B, C, B, C. B and C. That means you must compulsorily take BP and C because calculation will be equal. Any y coordinate is equal? Yes. What is y? A and B. So what should be taken? A, B and B, B. Okay. Then because anything, some of the questions you will not see anything common. Your equal one. Then you can take as if your wish. Okay. So figure is drawn. No. Figure drawn. So draw the figure. No. Okay. <clears throat> Done. Marking done. Let right. Let 
P X comma Y be the subcentre. Let B X comma Y be the subcentre of triangle ABC. Subcentre of triangle ABC. Therefore, AP is equal to BP is equal to CP. <coughs> Okay, we will find out AP separately. Root of formula is one solely x squared, x2 minus x1, the whole square, plus y2 minus y1, the whole square. That is the root of x2 in the x, x minus 5 whole square, plus y minus 1, the whole square. I hope all of you followed this AP. You don't need to simplify for the time in the varsity. We are writing with the pencil. Then we'll find out BP. How do you find out the same way? What we get? X minus 11, the whole square, plus Y minus 1, whole square. And CP is equal to root of, again it will come X minus 11, the whole square, plus Y minus 9. This much all of you followed, all of you? Yes. Okay. Now, Next is, you see, I said, you know, either x is common or y is equal to here, a, p, and for next step, you write, a, p is equal to b, p. That is root of x minus y all square plus y minus 1 all square is equal to root of x minus 11 all square plus y minus 1 all square. You square on both sides, root will go. Squaring both sides. What do you get here? Excellent. X minus Y whole square plus Y minus 1 the whole square is equal to X minus 11 the whole square plus Y minus 1 the whole square. Cancel. Can you see something can be cancelled from both? Yes. What you can cancel on both? Y minus y it's gone already, so Y is gone. Expand both the sides. Expand a minus b whole square x square minus 10x plus 25 is equal to x square minus 22x plus 121. This x square and x square is cancelled. Collect minus 10x plus 22x is equal to 121 minus 26. 25. Yes or no? Yes. Simply by I. What will miss it? You this one you check what it right. 22 minus 10 is 21. Sorry, sorry. Huh? Oh. <coughs> now, are you early now? It's also, also sleeping time now. So 12x equal to 96, x is equal to 8. Now, which you leave with? Check anything. This one, my, my term, anything was equal. <laughs> BP and CP now. If you are explaining BP and CP equivalent and solve it, you will get it well better. You will get it. all of you will get it. BP is equal to CP. Values are in place, square both sides, simplify.
Sachi, my dear friend, the room to move now, spare box is how much you know, not the food expire your door. Directly is a repeat root of x minus 11 the whole square plus y minus 1. Chargul got almost, what is that almost, my dear? Yes, I got it. Huh. Archit got, unless we got squaring both sides, x minus 11 whole square plus y minus 1 the whole square. We got x minus 11 whole square plus y minus 9 the whole square. You can see x minus 11 whole square cancel. This is y square plus 1 minus 2y. You got y square plus 81 minus 18. Done. Minus 18y minus 2y. 81 minus 1. So that is equal to how much? 16y is equal to 80. Y is 80 upon 16. Y is equal to 5. Therefore, coordinate of circumcenter. Yeah. Is what? 8,5. Is Hope all of you followed. Sure. Method is clear? Yeah. Yes. Everyone? Yes. I'll give one more question to do. Okay. Same, yes. huh? Same way. Then after that, you'll go to the next one. Listen. I'll give the coordinate. Find the coordinate. Right to see. Find the coordinate of the circumcenter. Find the coordinate of the circumcenter. A is three comma minus one. B minus five comma three. C one comma minus two. One comma minus or five. Minus one. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now you will write what did you write? Let P it is the circumtender. Therefore, AP equal to PX comma Y. Basic step, same format do it. Find AB, find BP, find CP. So AP is how much you'll get? X. Double what happens? Minus three whole square plus y minus minus is y plus or whole square. <laughs> then BP find out x minus minus y, x plus y whole square plus y minus three whole square. BP is CP is what? X minus one whole square. Y minus five Now check what all to be equated. Any coordinate is same. X you check anything is same. No. Nothing is same now. Okay, why you see anything is same? No. no. So it is you can take anything. Let's say AP yes. equal to BP. AP equal to BP and AP equal to CP. Any order you can take, there is no problem. Without mistake, good. Okay. 
AP is equal to BP square on both sides simplify. Building. Can I do? I said, not able to do, tell me I will do it. <coughs> not able to do. One of them I will show, not only x minus 3. Whole square, glory God. Huh? Whole square, it's a root. Is equal to root of x plus 5 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square. Squaring both sides, you will get x minus 3 all square plus y plus 1 all square is equal to x plus 5 all square plus y minus 3 all square. That is x square plus 9 minus 6x plus y square plus 1 plus 2. So nothing was cancelled. x square plus 25 plus 10x plus y square plus 9 minus 6 square. You can see x square and y square both cancelled. Yeah. Something else for 9 Nine. also cancelled. Huh? Uh -huh. huh? mm. That is left out. Minus 6x plus 2y plus 1. That's equal to 10x minus 6y plus 25. We will bring this over here. Minus 6x minus 10x. Plus 2y plus 6y equal to 25 minus 1. This is minus 16x plus 8y equal to 24 divided by 8. So we we'll get minus 2x plus y is equal to 3. Equation number 1. Okay, ah, no problem. Then another one we take as we said that this is called AP equal to C. 
Then A, P, and C, P, P, A, get the answer. Same, this time method you should do it, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Shall I do? Yeah. <coughs> and the others. When the three, you know, are in the What is the M minus B on square? Square plus B square minus square. Yeah, this is minus two eighty. I'm not. That G. What is the minus B on square? B square minus two eighty. Then how this plus six X has come? Root of x minus 3 whole square plus y plus 1 the whole square is equal to root of x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 5 whole square. Square both sides, x minus 3 whole square plus y plus 1 the whole square is equal to x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 5 the whole square. Expand x square plus 9 minus 6x plus y square plus 1 plus 2y is equal to x square plus 1 minus 2x plus y square plus 25 minus 10y. You can see x square and y square is cancelled. There is one also is cancelled. So what is get out? Minus 6x and I will bring over here plus 2x plus 2y, plus 10y, yes or no? Okay, yes. is equal to, what is here, 25 minus 9. That is 4x plus 12y, no? Yes or no? Yes. Plus, oh, minus. minus 4x plus 12y is equal to 16. Divide by 4. Minus x plus 3y is equal to 4. Second condition. So you can do first equation by 3. Multiply equation 1 by 3. So you will get minus 6x plus 3y is equal to 9. Second equation nothing to do. Minus x plus 3y is equal to 4. Change the sign. 
So it is, this is cancelled. This is minus 5x is equal to 5. x is equal to minus 1. Then replace an equation, any equation, okay, from 1, we get minus 2 times 1, one, one minus 1, plus y equal to 3, y is equal to 3 minus 2, y is also 1, 1 is minus 1, from 1, some direct fraction, from this, from y equal to what you get, y, y is equal to how many you got? This color beta, how 10 by 5 is 1? You which are the two equations you took? And then which are the two conditions you took? Mm. Same. AP equal to VP? Yes. And you got this equation? Hmm? Mm. A, this one and AP is equal to CP, you got this equation? Yes. I, I, I got x minus 3y is equal to 4. x minus 3y equal to minus 4 must be. Hmm? What happened? Uh, this, uh, yo, this. Be careful, my dear uh, Jody. Hmm. Okay, still from A, hmm. still not getting. Hmm. Finally, you got x minus 3y equal to minus 4, you got now. Mm. So, then what did you get? Minus 4 plus 3y, where did you substitute? Minus 2x. Minus 2 minus 4 plus 3y. Plus y equal to 2. You got 2 or 3. Stand up. Drink little water. I think you're sleeping. Right. First time I'm seeing this much mistake from you. Y equal to one. Yes, Arthur. Okay. Come again to see. No. Chocolate. Who got steel scale? Minus three into one is how much? What is minus three into one? Minus three. Minus three when go to this side, what will come? Yes. Uh, so. Minus. How many mistakes? One mistake or two other mistakes? Other mistake. Careful. Okay. Yes. Oh, so question number eleven. So I will read the point B. Uh, two comma minus seven is the center of a circle with radius thirty meter. A D is perpendicular to chord A B and T is equal to minus two comma minus two. Hmm. Calculate the length of A D and A B. How do you get length of A T? How do you get length of A T? Uh, do you have A? Do you have A? No. Do you have T? Yes. Yes. So A T you can find through you cannot find out directly. So what do you do? First you find out P T. Then AP you have Pythagoras theorem will apply. Understood or not? Find out 
If I got first, you this Arna, one goes to answer before everyone you tell. Shahdul, five, I got five. Only two people got five. 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 Root of formula x2 minus x2 together is minus two minus two whole square plus minus four plus seven whole square. Sixteen plus nine twenty five. F of P T is equal to five. Then what is uh, P A? <laughs> radius is given now. Yes. P A is equal to with thirty. Bracket reason is radius. Then radius of equal. Yes. Yes. Then because P A is not given now. This given radius is given. Then P. Then what we get? So PT PT square plus a P A is oh, P, sorry. P T square plus what is it? A T square. P T square plus A T square is equal to P A square. Reason all of you. Okay. By the way, pi square plus A T square. Thirteen square. Right. Thirteen square minus five square. One sixty-nine minus one forty-four. Therefore, eighty is equal to twelve. That is the first answer. Then, what do you have to find out now? AB. AB. How do you find out AB? If how? It will be same. Same. What is it? Same. AB same. No. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Two times. Ah, eighty is equal to two. AB is two eighty. Reason perpendicular from center by six the chord two times two. Twenty four. Yes. Fully do it. Okay. Okay. All of you done. Yes. Okay. That is the next question number twelve. Calculate the distance between the point P two comma two and two five comma correct to three significant figures. Okay, so you know how to find out PQ. Yes or no? Yes or no? Only apply now. So what is x one y one? Two two. And x two y two? Five four. Five four. So find out PQ formula apply. I am not writing the formula. I'll get the answer. Root eighty five. Pakka later not change. Okay. So no, no Shahrul. Three. I just get. So, ah, root thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen or root thirteen? Thirteen. Five minus two whole square plus four minus two whole square. Three square plus two square. Nine plus four root thirteen. PQ is root thirteen. Now what do you do? Significant places. That I will explain. Do you know how to find out the square root? Long division method, long division. How many of you does not know how to define the square root? 
I also don't mind it. <laughs> All of you, I don't mind it. Anybody? Any I don't. 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 I Look, do you know how to group? It's on each channel online work, you know. Do you know decibel? Where is the decibel of 30? Grouping means two at a time from decimal left to right. Okay, from decimal start, not that to right, from decimal start. Any number of zeros, okay. If it is coming as 141.3841, you know how to group? 141. Not 141. 4, 1, 4, 1. 4, 1 is one group. 1 is the next group. 1 means 0, 1. This side, 3 8 is a group, 4 1 is a group. Understood or not? Not from here, decimal toward both the sides. Suppose it is coming here this way 2 3, 17.293. What do you group? 19. 17. 17. That's the from 93. That's from here, 2 9. Are you followed now? Okay. It is coming as this one. One six eight one four three. What do you group? Forty three eighty one sixteen. Then next is seven. Seven means basically zero seven. Okay now. There is no decimal. According to decimal here. Now grouping is done. This grouping is done now. How to do this one means? Two divide by two. Two divide by two. You, these people, I throw everyone out from here. Which is the highest perfect square in 13? One square, you know. One square is three. One square. Two square. Four. Four. Three square. Nine. Four square. Sixteen. Does it sixteen there? No. So three square. So we write three over here and over here. Three, three is unknown. Subtract. 13 minus nine, four. four. This way is clear? Yes. Then. Bring this 3 over here and add. 3 plus 3 is 6. One place should be here. Then decimal always go up. Bring the next two. Okay? Hmm. Decimal is gone up. Bring the next two. 3 is added with this one and got 6. Okay? Now whatever we will put one digit over here, same thing should be put over here. If I put 0, here I put 0. Okay? Then if I put 1, what I will put over here? 1. Okay, largest number should be 1 into 61 is how much? 61. 61. No. 2 into 62 is how much? 120 something. 3 into 63 is how much? 180. 6 6 are, I think, 36. 6 6 are, 36. 6 6 are, 36. Okay, which is the highest number? Subtract. How much? 4. This 6 is added. 7 away. Now bring the next group down. Only one four hundred. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Hello. Okay. Now next is so check seventy two. One more group the number will come. If I write seven twenty one, seven twenty one into one is how much? Ten twenty one. It is less than. So what do you have to put? Zero. Multiply by zero. See. Subtract. Add that zero here. Now we have to find out one. Next group, bring it down. Seven thousand. See, one more digit means it is seven thousand something. This is forty thousand. See you know how much it will come? Five. Seven six are forty. No? Five five are twenty five. Two. Five two are ten. And five seven are thirty five plus one thirty six. Even it's not need to subtract because we got enough place. 
or no need to find out. If you want to subtract, you can refer 7 pi and uh, 9, and which is the three units. Okay. Now, therefore, you got root of 13 is equal to how much you got? 3.605. This is approximation three places. Listen now. Uh, all right, three three by fifteen or five. Good, nice now. Now, this is not the question asked. What is the question asked? Find the square root to three significant digits. Do you know which are? Do you know physics and about significant digits you studied or maths you studied? You have this one. Is it three is a significant digit? Yes. Six is a significant digit. Yes. Zero is a significant digit. Yes. 5 is a significant digit? Yes. So what you're asking, everything is equal. Suppose if I write 0 0.21 each, is it 0 is a significant digit? No, no. because there's not a value. Okay, that is the meaning. Now, rounding and uh, round to two places of decimal and three significant digit is different. If the question is three significant digit, one digit, second digit, third digit, that means this are wrong. Now, that means still this level round, Rounding principle, you know what is it? What is the rounding principle? Five or more than five means? Five or more than five. Add one. If less than five, remove. Therefore, this uh, answer is equal to 3.61. See, it is more than one five, no? Okay. I don't know if you have followed or not. Suppose it is coming as 23 point or three point or two point. I need to round up to round round. I need to round up to three places of decimal. What is the answer? Uh, eight. Uh, two point eight. Eight one eight. How did you get eight one eight? Two no. point eight two. Eight eight four. Two. I need three uh, round up to three eight decimal eight. places. Yours is wrong. Yours is wrong. Yours is wrong. Three decimal place means after the decimal, three places in it. If it is 817, uh, the next digit is what? 818, how it is coming? Four means less than five. No, you don't need to add. The answer is 2.817. If I want to round two place of decimal, what will be the answer? 2.8. <laughs> Two two. <laughs> <laughs> two point eight. Two point eight. <laughs> Subtract it. Are you add no? Either add or leave it. Okay, like that. So it is after one next place is more than five. So you have to add. Okay, one place round to one place. One place. To one place of digit. Two point nine. Two point nine. One nine is coming. No, two point eight or. Why 2.8 coming now? We'll get 2.7. And then one place means 8. After 8, what is the next digit? 1, which is less than 5 means now need to add it. Okay, so the answer is equal to 2.8. That is rounding. Now I'm going to tell significant digits. Take up to round up to three significant digits. So 1, 2, 3. 3 means the next digit you see. Seven. That means what will be your answer? 2.82. Round up to five significant digits. One, two, three, four, five. So next digit is six. So what will be the answer? 2.875. Four significant digits. 2.817. Are you following? Three significant digits. 2.88. A2. Two. Yes or no? Hmm. All right. Yeah, all asleep. 6 30 or 30. Huh? Is it so? No. I'll give one question. I wanted to make the break is I think you have break, no? Break is required. If you required after break, I'll come and give one question. Want a break? Yes. I tell. Yes. Tell yeah. yeah. <laughs> five minutes. Everyone's <laughs> square root. Oh my.
EQ is equal to root 65. Now find out where we find out. Thanks, well. Two minutes are you okay? Incidents more. Google dancer, no, 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 no. <laughs> she is putting zero, 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 zero going on. No. All of you stop writing. Put the pen down. All of you stand up. Sleeping your what? Now look. All of you can see the board now. Yeah. Okay. Now look here. Group. Check the grouping part. You did or not? Now check your time, how much I am taking and how much you do. Two significant digits means three places to read. This one we need, three places. This is the group done. Eight are, eight are, 64. One, add eight, one six. Decimal is gone up, double zero. <laughs> Nothing is there, so zero, 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 hundred. One six zero. Oh, sorry, I think zero. One six zero. zero, zero. Mm -hmm. This is ten thousand. Six. How uh, much? Six. Six star. Yes. Six. Six. No, six. Six. Six star. Thirty six. Zero. Sixteen. Nine six. Subtract. That is four. This is coming as six. Yes or no? And this is. Three sixty four. Then what do you need? Add six. So one, 
takes one, two. Next group, bring it. This is 16,000 something. That is two only. Two. Two twos are four. Two twos are four. Two. Twelve. Two. Is it not? And it is. That is coming as how much? One, three, two now. Mm. Yes, three, two. No. So you got the answer. That is eight point zero six two. See, see, three significant digit means these are three. Rounding means eight point zero six. That's all. See? Mm. You have already got a three, eight point zero six two. I Sit down. Sit down, all of you. Okay. Question may be there, square root finding. Okay, because this is a lower previous class. Over. Chapter over. Yes. Homer pattern don't you have to do it. Complete, complete the answer. What happened then now? Problem. Still looking, still looking, still looking. Mm -hmm. Complete the diagram. A six comma four. Capital A six comma four. B nine seven. C eleven nine. Three points you got. A six comma four. B nine seven. C eleven nine. Wait. C is eleven comma nine. Verify whether the points are collinear or not. Verify whether the points are collinear or not. Are you followed? What do you find out? Yes or no? Collinear, you don't know? Yes, A, B, C. Ah, find A, B, find B, C, C. All three find out. Find AB, find BP, find AC. AB, BC, AC. Six four is the first point. Then nine seven. Find out this is A B. Find A B B C A C. Lord will take my note, okay? B plus BC is 3 root 2 plus 2 root 2. How much? 5 root 2. 
Therefore, AB plus BC is equal to AC. Therefore, the points are collinear. <laughs> yes or no? Sum of them yes. should be equal to forgot or not? Forgot? No. Okay. AB plus BC equal to AC. Points are collinear. Hmm. Done. So they say we have to be careful while doing the sums. All got the same answer, but final answer is wrong, all of you. So you don't get much fun. Next question I'll do. If right. P three comma five is the center of a circle. P three comma five is the center of a circle. Q minus four comma two is any point on the circle. Any point on the circle. Find the area of the circle. Okay. Pi or find the area of the circle. Take pi equal to three point one four. Do you know how to find the area of a circle? Pi. What is the area of a circle? Pi. 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 You have to find out the radius. Here, what is PQ? What is PQ? PQ is the radius or not? What is P? Center no? What is P? Center of the circle. What is Q? Any point on the circle. Draw the figure and show me. Draw the figure and show me. Huh. You, this girl, I will move back. Yeah, Gauri, I'll take you and pick you and throw out from there. She's throwing any point, point on. Any point in on. Or oh, what is the meaning of on the circle? Here, this is on the circle. No. This is inside the circle. On the circle means here. So, what is PQ then? Radius now. Yes or no? So, find out PQ. This is on the circle. Careful, very careful doing. I'm seeing a lot of mistakes. Hmm. Done. How much is the PQ? Remy, how much? Root 58. No. All of you got root 58. Yes. Therefore, R is equal to root 58. Oh, all of you got root 50. And they tell us that you got Tachi. Got it. I've now got PQ. Root of minus 4 minus 3 whole square plus. 2 minus 5 or 12. That is minus 7 or square plus minus 3 or square. 49 plus 9. Root 58. That is PQ. Okay. Therefore, radius is equal to root 58. Area is equal to pi r square. That is 3.14 times 58. Yes. Multiply and get the answer. That is the answer. Yes. Oh, Root is gone now. Is that not? If mistake is then you should that other thing.
multiply na multiply got it yes do we know Oh, ah, ah. Jody, don't change. And you shouted at the also. How many have you got? One, eight, two, one, two. And decimal here. One eighty two point one two square units. Area. Area of the circle is that which square units. Have you seen distance formula? Most of the people are struggling, struggling. Mm -hmm. Let me be careful, my viewers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it now? Mm -hmm. no? Done. Yes. Done now? Yes. Another question. Find the point. Find the point on x axis. Okay. Whose distance from from a seven comma six? A is seven comma six, and b minus three. Comma four. R in the ratio minus three comma four. R in the ratio one is to two. You have to find a point on the x-axis. Read and identify. Point on the x-axis. Ah, so if the point on the x-axis already x comma zero, the right the letter. P left capital P x comma zero be the point on x axis. But then that means then what ratio is one is to two? One B and uh A no A B and A B. A P upon B P is equal to one upon two. Yes or no? So fine. So we can cross multiply. Two A P is equal to B P. Find out A P. Find out B P. Substitute and solve it. You know how to find out A P? You know how to find out A P. P is x comma zero. Find out AP. Find out, should I do? No. One step, no. Other, should I do? Find AP, find BP, and substitute. Three, four minutes I'll give. These are solved examples.
Yes, there is nine now. So, Achy, you brought this time there, huh. then 16 there. Hmm. 315, huh? Hmm. Yes. Oh. Now you have to factorize. Do you know what you have to factorize? Splitting middle term. You know how to split the middle term? Should I do? So why the term is in between? Is it solved? Fast, fast. If you're looking, you will not get the factors. You know how to get? What is the product? What is the product? You have to split the middle term means already split the middle term. What is the meaning of splitting the middle term rule? That also for what? What is the meaning of splitting the middle term rule? No. Three into some other number should three, be. Three into some other number should be. <coughs> Three into three, five should be. Yeah. 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 Now only realize product is AC, sum is B. So I don't see your meeting factorization. This whole chapter is there for the finals, remember. Splitting middle term and the long, even eight standard also study. Then there is a three into three, one, five. Factorize three. Then three one five. Then three one zero five. Three three five five seven. These are factors. From there, regroup it and get minus sixty two. Regrouping numbering. Three three are nine three are twenty seven. Seven five are thirty. 35. 35 plus 27, how much? 35 plus 27, can you find out how much? 62 or not? So this can be 3x squared plus 35x minus 27x plus 315. So you cannot take anything common, only x. 3x plus 35. Minus 27 into 3. X minus 9 times X equal to 9 or X equal to minus 35 by 3. These are two values. Therefore, the point is P is 9 comma 0 or minus 35 by 3 comma 0. These are the two ones. Hmm. Do you know from where I took this question? No. This Sorry. Question. This question. All the examples. So, all so examples are there. See, questions complicate one source, you can solve examples also. You have all the questions which I taken with I and solve examples or explain the question. After two. That's it. Questions formula is important one. You have to do it. Practice, you have to do it. Chapter gets over. This way, if I do it, means you know it will take a lot of time to complete. Again, I think. Okay. Okay, Gaudi. What are calculation mistakes you made today? What happened? Holiday time. Sleeping. What do you do at home? Any work? Relaxing. Are you tell now? Relaxing only or what? No. What do you mean? Studying? Mm -hmm. Partially. 
sometimes you know, what cooking is doing. See cooking, what you, you do at home? Cooking? Yeah. What cooking you do? What do you, which cooking you know how to do? Oh, good. Right. What cooking you know? Fast. Two minutes. I will know this. Fast time. Yeah. What Panasui knows? Done. You are done. You? Hi. Beyond my game. Sandwich. 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 Some vegetables and butter. And you? Maggie also she does. Maggie doesn't know. I think Maggie making it's a very difficult task. <laughs> Isn't it? You know, switch on the gas stove. Shut up and I'll be able to. Till now, you're not probably going to. Kitchen also, you're not allowed to. You, you know, any cooking? Tea. Tea. Do you know anything? Yeah. Okay, okay. Coffee, Maggie, fried rice, and omelet. Big one. Uh, <laughs> bread, bread. Oh. Uh, French toast. French toast. French toast. Uh, toast. Yeah. Put some of that. Okay, so you okay. won't take my head. Okay, tell me. Okay, something. Good, good. Tell me. Okay, so this is the one. This is the formula part we have done. We have left out is what? Some subtraction. Huh? Is it so? Is it so? <laughs> Sunday, <laughs> 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 Even this is and I asked you people to do the sums also. Maybe two weeks of that did not do much. Yes. Others are finding the values and all the things. You did not mm. calculate the angles, angles, angles. Mm. Practice is required. Huh? So now we are now we are left out with a little. Construction, construction of I think polygons, no? Mm -hmm. Construction of polygons and quadrilateral, the type of quadrilateral, you know. Hmm? One other, this one. So, and this all we, one day we will complete. Next class we will finish up again. I think it should not be much. Yes. All right. Okay. The number question should I was supposed to give you today or ready? Yes. Ready. No. No. Once it is. Okay. No. Okay. No. Ready. Okay. No. Yes. Yes. Three people. Yes. Three. Yes. You. Whatever he says. Okay. <laughs> okay then. Today I am not giving. Next day. Do I then go? Right. Yeah. No. Minus. No. 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 Match, you 
do some agriculture and put a circle over there. And put a circle over there. You know what is a circle? <laughs> Silk. Okay. Okay. Slope of a line will start. What do you do? Flat line is there now. What construction will start? Construction. All of you have construction. Okay. All of you have the instruments with you? Yes. Um, so, not airing business over here, okay? They got. No, this airing is always not. Done. Yes. Okay, now there is. I'm waiting for Gauri. Actually, wait, I'm waiting. Hi. Hmm. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Done. Done. Okay. Easy construction. Okay. Rhombus. Four point eight and leave one angle seventy five degree. Four point eight and one angle seventy five degree. Draw a rough figure. Do the construction? Yeah. Yes or no? You know what is the rhombus? The rhombus? All, side all, side all sides are equal and one. Yeah, one angle is given. One angle means, in fact, opposite angles also. So, Look here, but make a rough mark. You know how to do better for robust TV. Okay, what is the first step? Now, 75 degree on the base, you cut the sides now. Okay, you all start 4.8 also. And 75 degree. You all know how to make 75 degree? No. Do you know? Okay, then stop. Oh, okay. You know how to make 60 degree? Yes. 120 degree, 90 degree. Yes. So, look here. I draw an arc. Stop drawing. With a knee radius, draw an arc from here. Okay? This one, say, is a circle. Now, from, with the same radius from here, cut. If you join, how much you'll get? 30. 60. If one more cut. If I join, 120. One more cut. 180. Hmm. Okay, this is for 0, this is for 60, this is for 120. Okay, that means if I join this one, 60 degree. If I join this one, next, if I 90 degree, you know, bisecting means more than half and cut. 
join it on the now from year and year this point is called 90 degree this is not 90 degree point this is 90 do you how to say between from here this line is called how much do you and forty corner all of you. Once you take the protractor and measure, is it proper? Then only uh, protractor someone else has to go. Start next class. I need everyone. We are do things to complete in. Having a problem, please let me know. I've not got the problem. What I'm not getting then I will explain you don't have protractor. You didn't tell me whether it's anything else. It's time. So I don't look like. 75. Why are you doing the exit lab? Which color is it? Huh? Hello, don't play. Sorry. Hmm. 
little problem is there that parallel is proper. Why did you drop that? Huh? What is it? Why you have this on the side? Yes. The one angle is 75 and this one is 75? No. And then? Of course. You don't need to see here. You made 75 now. Over here, look. This is A. Take the compass and cut. This is how much? 4.8. Here, cut that is B. B to C is same length, it's also same length. This is a figure. What is the do the scale for construction as your compass? You did. You know, put it pro properly now. Get a small pencil and put it properly. That is the first thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, fix it permanently. So then it will be still problem. As, as far as your compass is not fixed, the problem will be continue. This homage? This homage? Understood? Mm. Okay. So it is coming from here. Ah, that, that is the problem. Are you to be joined. Understood? Mm. See, look here. This and this should be parallel. No, is it look like parallel? No. Is on this line means it should be almost on the same line. No. That is why there is a problem. Yes, what is this, sir? You're doing something. Yes, sir. Huh? How did you get this, sir? Oh, one girl without no ask, nothing is there. What? How did you get this, sir? Just show me, show, show. Me. How did you get this, one? Let me see. Huh. What, this one? 75 you got, after 75. After 75, what? How did you get see? How did you get P? 48. 48. How did you tell me? So, let me see. And from here, like this. Very good. Teacher also will do like this. Okay. Like this. That is not the I mean, okay, all done. day, but, but, uh, even if you done proper. Your length is 4.8 hours, and even this 75 degree is wrong, no? Does it protract it? And you might be 75 degrees, 60 degrees. Protractor. The protractor. Idea protractor. One protractor, ten people. Is it seventy five degrees? First, seventy five degrees, fifteen degrees. How did you use what by the way, it's wrong everything. You have to draw a person for this. Don't use it. Don't use this one. Okay. 
Construction and my goodness. Hey, hello. Next class when you are coming, please construction is done. Because if it was done already, other two little, I will do little stop over there, and after that we will finish it up. Because the construction is this time I need mean, three four lectures to do. So good for lateral, parallel, ground, rectangle, rhombus, square, trapezium, all these things. And takes the time consuming. So, look here. Next class is coming. Two pencils, one for the compass. Okay, one make the short pencil, and another one is for drawing. Scale, eraser, protractor, sharpener, not color pencils. Okay, this tumbles. Bye-bye. No, 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 no